Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play of Europe Universalist 4, Ryukyu Islands. Last time was mostly just colonization, we got some in Africa right there, and we almost got some, or Aus Africa, <laughs> Australia, <laughs> and we're getting some right here. Um, well not recording, I was looking around and I think I might try and push to get Shun to vassalize them, and then I can support rebels and Ming. So then that way I could quite possibly get a nice little territory boost. Does Shun have cores here? No. Shun has cores all around here. So it'd be a beautiful thing if I could get Shun through. Oh, Shun has a core here. I probably won't push it for the cores here, though. Oh, well, maybe. They have three. But anyway, so I think I'm going to build up my military a little and go ahead and do that. So what do I have? What's my military like? So three, two. So let's build one infantry, that. We'll do that. Hopefully that's good. Oh yeah, we'll probably need some more transports. Er, maybe not. Maybe we can just... Can we get access through me? Uh, access. Ask for military access. Thank you. Self-sustaining. Cool beans. Let's send one over there. This one's getting pretty close. Um... Okay. Diplomats arrive back. So how's my money doing? It's still pretty darn good. But it's going to go down because of the colony. What was, what was I going to do with full military maintenance? Oh, it's going to be okay. Let's all go there, guys. Let's all become friends. Huh, apparently I don't have a military leader. Let's see what these guys look like. Um, wow. That was a waste. Guess you. Board the ships. I'm gonna send you way over here. No, Nanjing. Nanjing probably has the biggest supply limit, but I suppose I probably don't need the biggest supply limit with the size of my army. <laughs> my massive, epic army of epic awesomeness, you know. Oh, that's four and four. This one's a bit more aggressive. Huh, I'll do this anyway, because I feel more likely to discover places. Oh, they're there. So are you guys attached? Please attach. Thank you very much. Now let's roll. Transport you there. Hopefully I don't piss too many people off with my... Excellent. Okay. So, military maintenance is full. Hopefully they don't have any. Let's declare war. Yes. Thank you. My fleet maintenance is low crap. Um, run! <laughs> okay, good, they ran. There! Well, we pretty much won that war. So just drop that. You can like half that. There. Good D GG, bud. GG. You're gonna blockade me, aren't you? Just to get some extra war score. But it doesn't matter. Colony damaged. Oh no. Don't don't kill this colony. Oh hey, I discovered down here. Gain the core and gubby gubby. I don't know that's how you say it, but that's how I'm going to say it. <laughs> Trier, colony damaged. Oh, there it goes. I want here. Please. Thank you. Just maybe being polite to them will help. <laughs> that's my hope, at least. 
Wonder, Shun does have a core on Beijing. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Let's boost our... Or lower our tech cost. Oh. 100% war score. Alright. Unfortunately, though, it looks like... Uh, Ryukyu will become... What? No, I don't want that! No! <laughs> that would have been the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> Let's double check. <laughs> Shun will become a vassal of Ryukyu. Yes, that's what I want. I don't want to become a vassal of Shun. <laughs> that would have been a grave mistake. Grave mistake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There, now let's support some rebels here. What? Why can't I support Shun rebels? I don't care about Tibetan patriots. Or Cantonese patriots. That's the thing that's Cantonese right there, yeah. Of this. It's Ming peasants. Why can I not support Shun? I don't even know what they're called, though. Maybe it's because their culture is the same? I think they're all Han, yeah. Han is the primary culture of Shun. So what would it be the... These guys? The peasants? Is that what I want? So I feel I should be able to support the right rebels. Holy crap, that's going to cost a lot. Just holy Crap. Infantry fraction? I don't know what that is. Um, let's drop our military maintenance even more, because for some reason we're losing lots of money here. I don't know what to support. Maybe I'll, I'll support the Ming peasants for, like, there. There you go. <laughs> it's tidy bit of money, and maybe we'll be friends. I'm more likely just to piss off Ming, though. <laughs> They'll just be like, um, why are you spending nothing on these peasants? You're just trying to piss us off? I'll be like, um, no. Because <laughs> I probably don't want angry Ming after me. Where do I want to go? I'm going to go to my capital. The capital is Manila, right? Oh, that's Visayas. There's Manila. Well, I'll hang out in my capital. Send them? Yeah. I don't care about spy defense. <clears throat> Let's go back. Right, that was spy offense, so maybe I should have cared. Really? I can't see the Aztecs, I don't think. No. I can see Castile, though. Oh, France is rand ra randing, rounding the bend of Africa, it looks like. Huh. Why would the Mamluks, t Mamluks take that territory? Did they core it? Huh. Maybe they had a colony here or something and it failed. Poor Ethiopia died. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to the... Oh, Muscovies coming. It's coming for us. <coughs> anyway, let's get this back started. Let's see my colonies. That one's done. That one's on its way. That one's on its way. Okay. Maybe I should send my guys, my troops there. I think that would help a lot. I'm also wondering if I should just kill all these guys. Because it increased my manpower by 100 and 0 0.2 base tax. I don't know. Agent was discovered in Beijing. Now, now that Ming are probably going to be pissed at me. Let's see. Hey, Ming. <laughs> aggressive? Wow, I didn't. I should have looked at that aggressive expansion. Holy crap. Just for vassalizing them? Well, go Ming peasants. Uh, let's improve relations. It's because I don't want them too pissed at me. Ungrateful pet. There we go. Discovered an agent in Manila. Oh, 
plus two diplomatic relations, exactly what I need. Because, you know, I have so many diplomatic relations, it's just ridiculous, you know? Let's see. I think all that I have is, like, military access. <laughs> wow, they're really not happy. Let's see. Um, I have two diplomatic relations. What's going on here? Um, I need to view my country. So I have my vassal. Oh, yeah. Because I have a vassal. That's ah, right. <laughs> what? Zapora? Zik? I don't know. Where where is this? Oh, huh. I think I may have actually seen them before. I thought there was something new. They both have pretty cool flags, though. I like their flags. <laughs> They're getting nommed. The French are like, mmm, tasty. But it doesn't look like French will be able. To, maybe up here. Maybe they can get up here. Then they could get some land, but. Oh, well, that place is screwed. France got Cornwall, huh? Ireland formed? Wow, I've actually never seen Ireland form. It's always been Great Britain there. But anyway, let's let's get back to speeding through. Do I want money or points? I don't really need money at the moment, so let's gain the points. Hey, Tibet! What's up? Did you be my vassal? <laughs> It's only minus 1,251. Wow, they became a monarchy. That's new. I've never seen the Tibetan monarchy. It's gained stability, of course. <coughs> Can I see? No. Aw. I was hoping that, uh... The Ming wouldn't... The Ming seems to be very efficient this game for some reason. I wish the Ming weren't very efficient, so then I could... Tech up that. And that. I like when they're not efficient at killing rebels, so then I could get all the way up here. Shun. <laughs> but having Shun there is a good point to get into Ming if they ever really start getting screwed over. Wow, Gotland. Really? Why did Gotland get here? I thought Gotland was right here. Yeah. Gotland does not own Gotland. I always think that's hilarious. When your country doesn't own... <laughs> their own, like, land that's they're named after. I wonder if I could... If I should throw out another colony. Oh. My colony ended. Hmm, that one's actually pretty aggressive. I could almost start a, an extra colony here. I don't know if I necessarily want to do it here, though. Do I have... Okay. It's Ken! Yeah, my buddy Ken. You can do it. There we are. Or that's my error, isn't it? Wow! My heir is only two years younger than me, really? <laughs> well, that's gonna be interesting. I just hope I don't die without an heir. <laughs> the Emperor enacted an imperial reform. What is the Ming's power like, I wonder? Uh, let's see. Military. I doubt they're that weak. 9,000? If anyone declares war on them, I think I'm going. Oriad Horde, you know you want to get your claim over here. Look at that, you have a claim. It's beautiful. You should, uh... Press it, so that I can attack. <laughs> I don't need any missionary strength. Yeah, I guess we'll do this. Increase my innovation. Plus five diplomatic relations. How beautiful. 
What's that sound? Oh, I guess it's the Pope. Call the crew. Really? You needed to call a crusade against the Aztecs? Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> like, that's just. It's just so unnecessary. Just. I don't even understand. <laughs> they don't really like me. I'm gonna keep improving relations here. And here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, it's stupid. I wish I could change from animist. That'd make life so much easier. And I can't get a real much here because of the stupid being animist. <laughs> Maybe I can lie with the Manchus or something. Let's... No, I want to... Going minus 15 from zero. It's amazing. Where am I going? I want military. Yeah, he needs to be out of there. Okay, I'm gonna fire you. And I want a conquistador, so then I can walk over here. Wow, that's a lot of natives. Wait, why did so many natives spawn? That's what I'm wondering. A what? I totally sent it to the wrong place. Well, I guess we're in the wrong place, boys. Black news. Aw, oh, really? 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 I need to boost my military maintenance here for a minute. Come on. There we go. Boost up, back everything up. Come on. Alright. I think that's good. We finished improving relations with Korea. That's good. Gotta like Korea. They're at war with Japan. Cool. <clears throat> I wish they weren't allied. I wonder what the Uesegi's uh, manpower is like. They actually have a pretty good <laughs> troop count. <laughs> so I guess I'm not attacking them anytime soon here. <laughs> I've improved relations with Japan. Let's see, alliance. No. Alliance. Ooh, they're, they're getting close. They're getting close. So what do I need? To, I need to improve relations with you. It'd be amazing if I could get a royal marriage. But probably the only people I can get a royal marriage is, is with, like, the Aztecs. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they're just screwed. Gotta love that event. Let's boost some stability. Gain the core. So, how's that going? That's going good. That's going good. Yeah, it's just on this coast that, people, that all the natives are angry. Wow. <laughs> no aggressiveness. So they probably won't even attack me. This is going to be a nice place to get 7 plus 9,000 natives. It's going to be beautiful. Can't wait. Improved relations with the Manchurians. That's good. Yeah! Look at that. Our first alliance. This is so beautiful. It's just makes me happy inside. And maybe, if we could declare war on the Ming, I should probably cancel my military access because I really don't need that anymore. <laughs> so they would not join me in aggressive war. So maybe I should just piss off the Ming. Let's, let's see their manpower right now. Ming, 9,000. And let's look at Manchu. Ming, Manchu. Yeah, I want to go to war with you. Let, let's go to war. I'm going to send an insult over there. Let's 
Let's just tick them off to no end. Really, they'd still give me military access even though I just insulted them? <laughs> Let's fabricate a claim. Uh, we'll do Jinan. Or apparently not. And how about Huayan? What? Can I only. Oh, yeah, I suppose it's not really mine. Do Fuzhou. Or Guangzhou, that'd be nice, I think. I think that one would have the best base tax. Let's do it anyway. Let's see, Guangzhou. Six. Yeah, I was right. So, knowing a little history about China helps. <laughs> Just know some of the important places. You know. I guess we'll lose the money, and it really doesn't matter. Because we have so much. We're rich. Three, three, four. Let's do the four first. How goes this? It's going okay. Unfortunately, we're getting fish. <laughs> Don't really care for fish that much. This is a trade commodity. What are we... In conquest, cast a spell. I wonder if they would join if I had a cast a spell against me. No. Apparently they're allied with Korea, who likes me. Even though they're rivals. Let's keep improving relations so they're like, ah, oh, besties! Hmm. Apparently Korea has more <laughs> soldiers <laughs> than the <coughs> Manchurians. How oh, is... They hate me. Let's keep improving relations here, bud. You still word the man shoes? Yeah. Maybe that's why. What? Is this, is this their territory? Wow, apparently they have a core there. Oh yeah, I think I remember them getting that. And then they lost it all. I think they had here, too. Yeah. And maybe here? And here, here, and I thought up here, but doesn't look like it. Oh, they have a claim there, though. Hmm. Korea has a core here, apparently. Can I lie with the Oriad Horde? That'd be pretty badass. Wait, they're in a person... Oh, gosh. That is going to be powerful. My gosh. The Oriad Horde... <laughs> If they annex Vijayanagar, you know, you know that place, then that's going to be pretty beast. I think they're probably one of the most powerful nations. The Oriat Horde. Maybe Muscovy is pretty powerful too. I'm surprised the Livonian Order is still alive. Usually they die pretty quick. And Denmark is just falling apart. <laughs> just Sweden popping up around, you know, some Norway. Let's see, they... Yeah, they still have there, looks like. Mm, who's that? Norway got that. Denmark's got that. I think when I colonize down here, I'm going to leave one spot open. Not that spot. That spot. I'll, I'll take these three. I'll leave that spot open. And then hopefully, a western nation will come by and be like, Hey, I want... Um, colonize here and core here, and I'll be like, yes, please do. I'd love it if you did that. And then I would westernize, and I would pretty much probably boss everyone, which would be amazing, because who doesn't love that? But anyway, I think I'm going to end this part here. So hopefully in the next part, we'll be able to declare war on Ming, but that's no guarantee, because we're dependent on the Manchus for that. We're at war. Because if I declare war on the Ming, more than likely these guys and these guys will join. Maybe I could ally here. That'd actually be pretty good. If I could ally Daiviet, then maybe they could deal with Ayat Haya. And maybe they would call in the Oriat Horde. And then it would just be this huge war where we'd just get all of Ming, and then I would just return all of my cores to shoot. I think that sounds good. 
we'll, we'll try it. There's no guarantee it's going to work, but let's do it. Well, we'll save that one for the next part, though, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye now.